were you able to get your hands on a majestic PlayStation 5? Yeah. We all know how hard those things are to come by. Well, I was, finally. And that means I get to review PlayStation 5 games for you. On today's episode of Mumbles, check out my review of Bratchet and Clank Rifts Apart coming up next on Mumbles. Ah! Hi everyone, Mumbles here. Today, I get to review my first exclusive PlayStation 5 game. And boy, it's a good one. We're reviewing Ratchet and Clank. You've ever played a Ratchet and Clank game before in your life? You're going to get more of the same from this game. But we're going to review it nonetheless because I'm just excited about the PlayStation 5, if I'm being honest. So let's jump straight into this review, starting with the description. The intergalactic adventurers are back with a bang. Help them stop a robotic empire intent on conquering cross-dimensional world with their own universe next in the firing line. Blast your way home with an arsenal of outrageous weaponry. Experience the shuffle of dimensional rifts and dynamic gameplay. Explore never-before-seen planets and alternative dimensional versions of old favorites. PS5 features. Feel in-game action through the haptic feedback of the DualSense wireless controller. Take full control of advanced weapon mechanics made possible by the adaptive triggers. Now, it talks about a whole bunch of other things, but those are the main things you need to know. Now, the other thing that you need to know is this game is a PlayStation 5 exclusive at this time, and you can pick it up for 60 bucks. Now, let's jump into the gameplay section. Before we do, I do have to ask, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And thank you so much for the support. You're me. Gameplay section time! So, Ratchet & Clank is one of the flagship games for the PlayStation 5. And gameplay-wise, if you've ever played a uh, Ratchet & Clank game before, you're getting that kind of an experience. If you haven't, never fear, I can describe it for you. Basically, an action-adventure shooter where you fight various enemies on each level, do a little exploring, learn about a little story stuff, buy some weapons with some bolts, and rinse and repeat that process by destroying all your enemies as Ratchet and Clank. And that's basically the gameplay. Now, one of the main features of this game for the PlayStation 5 was kind of to showcase the abilities that the PlayStation 5 had. The graphics, the controller, and I really want to, while I'm looking at this gameplay section, talk about the controller. This is the game that made me fall in love with what the controller could do. When you go to fire on this game, when you, when you click the fire button and the trigger, you can literally feel the little adaptive triggers change based on what weapon you're using. Blew my mind the first time I thought that. I was like, whoa! And this game does that. It uses the adaptive triggers to actually change based on what weapon you're using, which is so cool. Now, beyond that, the controller also has various vibrations based on what you're doing. And I know that's nothing new, but it feels so different this time that it actually lines up with what's going on on the screen, which is amazing. And that pretty much sums up the gameplay section. The only con that I have for this game today is... I did feel like this game was just a little bit short. When you compare it to other Ratchet and Clank games in the past, it felt like it was a little bit short to me. I'm not going to grade off the score hugely for it, but I do want to mention it here because I do feel like it's a little short. Now we come to my all important score section where I ask what does Ratchet and Clank get on today's episode of my book? I have been a Ratchet and Clank fan since the very first Ratchet and Clank game. I have not missed a single Ratchet & Clank game since that first game. I've played all of them, and I have to say, this is the best one yet in my opinion. They not only made fantastic gameplay and stuck to the formula that made Ratchet & Clank so great, but they also added a really appealing and really cool and interesting and a story that really drew the player in and made the player want to play the game. I literally didn't want to put this game down. I wanted to play it all the way through to completion, and I did. And that is the sign of a fantastic game, no matter how you look at it. I don't usually get to do many big games like this where I get to say, you know, 
I'm happy with it, but I'm happy with this game, and it gets an 8 out of 10 on Steam. Gift certificate. If you are able to get your hands on the mystical, magical PlayStation 5 that's hard to get, then give this game a try because you're going to love it. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Ratchet and Clank. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.